G'day guys, it's Reese from Sports Grappling Systems here. Today I want to look at a tackle that happened in the State of Origin Game 1 from Tom Gilbert. Um, I specifically want to look at this tackle because it ends up in him injuring his shoulder, so he dislocates his shoulder. Uh, he needs a full shoulder reconstruction and he's going to be missing for the rest of the season. Uh, I want to look at what happens in the lead up to this tackle, uh, what could have been done differently in the tackle, and then also a couple of other examples from the game um, that are examples of what he could have done alternatively. So let's check it out. Okay, so this is the start of the tackle that Tom Gilbert makes. So he makes a tackle on Brian To'o, um, who is this player here. Um, and we can see as the play unfolds, so this is Tom Gilbert here, who's rushed out of the line. He's a few steps ahead of the guys around him. Uh, and he's trying to put pressure on Brian Toto, which isn't a bad thing to be putting pressure on him. But we can see as he takes a few steps towards Toto, he puts a, Toto puts a little bit of footwork on, right? So he steps off his right foot here. And at this point, Tom, Tom Gilbert is trying to basically to catch his feet here. So he's sort of pushing off his left foot here. You can see he'll transfer onto his right foot. Um, and he's really off balance in this position. So you can see here he's in this sitting in basically in the chair, in the chair, which is a position you don't really want to be in when you're um, trying to make a, a tackle like this. You want to be getting up out of the line, hitting them um, and, and getting your feet closer into his feet. So... Um, you can see he's pushing off his right foot here and basically uh, Brian Toto is pushing off his right foot and going in towards his right shoulder. So as the play unfolds, there you can see his whole body weight is going out towards the left or his left. And as a result, he's having to uh, overcompensate his shoulder by stretching it out and 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 trying to catch um, Brian Toto in the tackle. So this is really what causes the uh, dislocation to happen. Um, he's putting a, a huge amount of weight on an outstretched arm, and, uh, and that's, that's basically what causes these sort of dislocations to happen. Here's a replay of the tackle in slow motion, and you can see um, Tom Gilbert is this player here, and as he moves into the tackle, you'll see this arm start to stretch out. So there it goes there. So his arm has moved from basically by his side to basically at, at, at 90 degrees to his body. So um, that's what's caused the dislocation to happen. Obviously, the second point is that his feet here are um, uh, quite a way away from um, Brian Toll. And it's really just uh, an off-balanced um, attempt at tackle here that's, that's gone wrong and ended up in the, the injury. So obviously a couple of things uh, that have gone wrong in that tackle uh, that have led to the shoulder injury. Um, but I think probably one of the main points to look at is the decision to make that shot on Brian Toto. I mean, Brian Toto is, you know, one of the the most difficult players in the competition to bring down. Um, you know, he's a winger. He's got good footwork. Um, so I think the decision to to really target him in in that type of tackle, uh, rushing out of the line and and trying to force an error or make a big shot to turn the game, it's probably not the best choice of tackle to make. So. Here's what I mean when I say, uh, you know, uh, deciding to make this type of tackle um, game. And it happens um, late in the half. Uh, and you know, one of the New South Wales players here comes out of the line uh, and hits uh, Lindsay Collins. So Lindsay Collins is here. And you can see as the play unfolds, there you've got Liam Martin, who's rushing out of the line here put this shot on um, and I think a couple of things from this tackle uh, one he's lined up on a player who's 
you know, not going to put uh, a hell of a lot of footwork on him um, like Ryan Tottenham would. Uh, two, you'll notice the position of his arm here. So his arm is by his side, uh, and there's a good replay that I'll show you soon. But I think it's a better hit than, obviously, than than the Tom Gilbert hit. Um, and I think the selection of where he is on the field um, and the player that he's decided to put this hit on is a good thing to take note of. Okay, so here's a replay of the Liam Martin hit. You can see the angle of his body uh, he's actually moving from uh, left to right uh, on Lindsay Collins instead of moving you know, directly straight at him. So first things first, he's got a good angle uh, to make a good hit on Lindsay Collins. As the tackle unfolds, you'll see what I said about having his arm by his side. And then as the tackle unfolds, uh, that that arm hits and then it starts to wrap. So he hits, and it's always at low 45 degree angle. Um, so he's not reaching out or any in any risk of um, dislocating his shoulder or anything like that. Um, so yeah, this is this is a good example of a good hit, um, but not necessarily a good uh, tackle or grapple afterwards, because you can see uh, Lindsay Collins actually bounces off the hit. Um, and uh, and he's wrapped up by other New South Wales players. So uh, a good example of an initial hit. But what I want to look at next is what you can use as a strategy um, for players coming out of trouble and how you can actually go from having a, a decent hit to a better outcome for your tackle. And this is the tackle that I want to look at. This is 56 minutes gone in the game. And you can see it's Davida Pangai Jr. is about to have a hit up here. And you've got some Queensland players. This is just after a kick. Uh, so this is the first hit up of the set. Um, and as the play unfolds, the Queensland players move up. And they're all in a straight line together. So there's no one rushing out of the line here. You can see Ruben Cotter is the player who's... Uh, lining up to make the tackle. So Pangai has you know, eyed him off and is going to run straight at him. And as this tackle unfolds, you can see Cotter just makes a good high tackle and wraps him up. Okay, so he waits for uh, two other players to come into the tackle. So he's got a big Tino and Flegler there. And you've got three people in the tackle against a bigger forward. Now, what happens here is um, Davida Pangai actually bumps Ruben Cotter uh, loose and is looking for an offload. And as that offload comes out, Ruben Cotter swats it down and jumps on the loose ball. So Queensland ball. And they actually go on to, to um, score off this set, uh, which puts them in front. So it's a big turning point for the game. Um, and it's a good example for me of a player who's making a tackle, who's engaged in the tackle and is staying alive in the tackle, preventing an offload um, and just, you know, not, not actually, not necessarily making a huge hit, but getting a good grapple or a good wrestle, trying to wrap the ball up and then capitalising on the back of a player who's looking for an offload. Um, so there's an example of uh, a tackle decision that uh, Ruben Cotter uh, has made at that point in the game. So not necessarily, I'm not going to rush up out of the line. I'm going to wait with my teammates. We're going to make a three-on-one tackle. It's more efficient. It's easier on all of us. We have to use less energy to get him down. And then beyond that, what are we doing in terms of bringing him to the ground? And then what are we doing in terms of wrapping him up preventing offloads. Um, so there's a good example for me of what um, smart tackle selection looks like as opposed to just focusing on getting up out of the line and making a big hit because you can make a huge hit and, uh, and bounce off a player and it's really not worth a lot in the scheme of the game. You can also make a, a big hit um, or try to make a big hit and if it goes wrong, like uh, like Tom Gilbert, 
then you're in a situation where you're injured, you're out of the game, and you're out of the season beyond that. So uh, this is, you know, I just wanted to focus today on a couple of tackles, tackle selection, and just those basic points of getting the fundamentals right in your tackle. So, um, you know, getting up out of the line, getting a, a, a getting your footwork in nice and tight, getting your um, feet nice and loose, and making a hit, and then making a, a a tackle, wrapping up the ball player after that tackle. And another important point is keeping your arm and your elbow close into your body as you're moving into a tackle. So the Tom Gilbert tackle where he extends his arm out and basically anywhere above 45 degrees, um, you're going to be putting your arm, you know, you're going to be exposing your arm to more and more risk of dislocation. And, um, you know, for me um, personally, I, I've actually done this um, this exact injury myself when I was uh, 21. I think Tom, Tom Gilbert's 22. Um, and had a full shoulder reconstruction. It was basically a very difficult um, injury and surgery to come back from. It's going to be you know, six months to a year before you see Tom Gilbert uh, back back playing footy again. So you know, I, I really hope this is the the start for him. Um, I I know we'll see um, we'll see him back on the field, and I hope this is the start for him of. Um, putting those fundamentals in place and getting some really good outcomes with his tackles. Um, so that's it for this uh, analysis. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think and um, I'll see you on the next one.